This is Dabu7. We have some very interesting comments made by this congresswoman, Marjorie Taylor Greene, that has been caught up in a lot of stuff in the headlines. But she has basically called Biden's whole system here with COVID-19 passports his mark of the beast, or has at least asked the question and said, if so, this is very disturbing. Because she's saying that the rules attached to this say that you will not be able to travel, you will not be able to buy, sell, and she correlates it to that exact thing. The passage out of the Bible talking about people not being able to do just those exact things without having a mark. And this has been brought up so many times, we've discussed this many, many times, but we are actually here at this point where there is something being put into motion that makes all this here a reality. And it's not just the United States. We're, we're seeing many other countries roll this out as well. We can see that the club has told all their members to go back to their countries and to implement this. And as they say, millions of people will not do this. They say on the other side of the coin, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, billions will. The fish will. So they don't care that a small group of millions don't want to do it. They see that the rest of the herd is going to do it, and then that's what's going to do the rest of you in. So like a carrot on a stick, if you want to get into venues, any of these places or do anything, they're trying to say, this is what you've got to do. But this is what the federal government is trying to say. The states have their own say. Don't ever forget that. And DeSantis in Florida has stepped up and said he is going to use executive powers and actions to stop all this, where it's not going to be implemented in his state to crush stuff. So they, they are making moves. And the best thing that I can tell anyone out there is to get situated in a state where you feel comfortable, where the leadership is doing things in favor of we the people, not against us. There are states making these moves. I suggest people look around. They get their stuff together, and they see, you know, who's doing what here. A lot of people looking at Texas, Florida. They've even looked at my state, Kentucky, for freedoms that they don't see in their own states. I'm going to discuss this further on the next live stream. Make sure to join me. This is very important. We're going to break down the details that you're not going to get out here in these videos or anywhere else because they're going to want to censor it. We're going to talk about it censorship-free on the live streams, and I can't stress that enough. If you're wondering where all the information's at, it's going down on the live stream where we cannot be censored. It's just that simple. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, D-Live. Links below. All right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakwadash. Yahweh being the one and only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. But his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the old full leg. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, put your forth this word of truth and sincerity. I am Ira Zakar from the tribe of Gad, coming through the spirit, and uh, pretty much Biden is uh, coming out, you know, his own mark. You know, he's coming out with the mark of the beast. All right, now I'm not going to title my uh, lecture with anything because I already got a strike on my previous channel, and um, so I got to be really careful on what I say in this video or what I title it as. I already got a strike, so... I don't know what I'm going to title this video, so, you know, if you brothers come across it, maybe it'll have a title, maybe it won't, because every time I put a title up, you know, YouTube finds a reason to fucking strike me, so I'm not going to probably have a title at all, so, uh, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying, so pretty much, man, uh, just like uh, Dabu777 said, you know, um, Biden is pushing forth the market of beasts, where... You can't buy or sell, which is going to Revelation, which the prophets been saying, the true prophets, all right, been saying for years, all right? People was calling our elders uh, liars, and they don't know this, they don't know that, and there is no, you got guys out there saying there is no mark of the beast, there ain't no chip, this, this, and that, and now it's here. Biden is trying to intensify it. 
All right, Biden's trying to push forth. All right, he's trying to push forth the market of beast. All right, and uh, we're gonna go into this uh, breakdown logo and the Zetify because the market of beast is the RFID chip, and the RFID chip is the market of beast. The RFID chip, aka NFC chip implant, is the market of beast, which is talked about in Revelations 13, verse 15 through 16. We're gonna break this down. Lord willing to edify him. This is Revelation 13, 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Who is the he? The he is talking about the central bankers, the high power elites, the higher ups. All right. The wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. Who is the wicked? Esau. All right. The so-called white man. He's the wicked. He's in control of the world. He's in the control in his rulership. All right. The Lord gave him that uh, possession for right now. To rule, but his kingdom is coming to an end. But that's the he, all right. The he is the central bankers, the European Union, all right. It says that he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many I was as that cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. That's talking about the RFID chip, because it's going to come to a time where the RFID chip is going to be the new currency. And it's going to be made mandatory, which Biden is trying to push forth. Biden is trying to push forth the market of beasts. All right. So once the RFID chip becomes the new currency, because, again, you go to usdebtclock.org, all the countries is in trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. So for to them to get everybody out of debt, starting from America, all the other countries out in the world, to get them all out of debt, they have to bring in a new system. So they have to bring in a new the, the new system, which is the cryptocurrency, which is digital, which is digital, you know. So everything is going to be everything of who you are that you carry in your wallet is going to be on that documentation, which is the RFID chip. Your banking information is going to be on there. Your social security information is going to be on there. Who you are, where you live, you know, your driver's license information. Because a while back, uh, the Ak uh, Kwadar Shabbat uh, Nine, he did a video. I think two years ago, where they trying to get rid of driver's license, like actual actually having a driver's license card and having an ID, they're trying to make that digital. So your identification is even going to be on a chip. Ain't going to be no more going to a DMV and taking a picture and filling out your ethnicity, your address, and where you live at, and you know three things of residency. Everything is going to be digital. So even though who you are. In general, even your birth certificate, all that is going to be on that chip. Even your job to work, you're going to have to have that chip. To be able to get food, anything, you're going to have to have that chip. All right. If you don't have that, then you're not going to be able to work. All right. And if you don't, and if you refuse to take it, you're going to be beheaded, which goes to Revelations 2 and 4, which is a righteous act anyway. All right. Verse 16. And he calls it all. There's the he. Who's the he? Esau. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and and poor so from the richest man of the earth to the homeless to the poorest man homeless on the street so like it so from the richest man of the earth to the poorest man homeless on the street is going to be required to take the rfid chip it's going to be mandatory and if you don't take it you're going to be taken to a concentration camp and you're going to be guillotined if you don't take the chip all right now if you don't get the chip and you resist the chip and you get beheaded hey that's a righteous act you're dying for the lord all right, that is also going into the temptation of faith. This is why the elders and apostles of Great Millstone tell us to be built up in the faith. It says, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. When you go into the meaning of that word mark, it's G5480, which is, which is karagma, which is a stamp or imprinted mark. You go into the entomology of karagma, is G5482, which is a pell stake or palisade. And that word palisade there is talking about the chip that they use to implement inside you. So if you take the RFID chip, you're going to be destroyed. And it's a physical mark. It's not a spiritual mark. Now, there is a spiritual mark, which goes to Ezekiel 9 and 6, all right, which is a spiritual mark. But Revelations 13, verse 15 through 17 is not talking about that spiritual mark. Because you got guys out there that's saying that the RFID, that's like a, they're saying that the mark of the beast is a spiritual mark. And it's not spiritual. You can't buy or sell spiritual. That don't make no sense. All right. So we're going to go into this. This is a physical mark. It's a physical thing. All right. It's not spiritual. All right. And this is a uh, revelation 13 and 16. All right. 
Strong's G, 5480, Kharagma. Kharagma. A stamp and imprinted mark. So it's a physical mark. It's something physical, man. It's not spiritual. All right? It's not spiritual. All right? A stamp or imprinted mark. All right? So it's a, it's a physical mark. All right? G5482, which is Karax. All right? It says a pal or stake or palisade. Now, if you look up palisade, it's a wall fence which, with, a, with, a, with sharp edges at the end of them. It's a, it's a large, sharp, wooden uh, stake. It's like a sharp, like a wooden fence. You know, a sharp one, at, like one of those wooden fence that has like point that's very sharp at the end of them. All right. But, you know, when John the Revelator had this vision, all right, he didn't know what, what, what the RFID, he didn't know what the mark of the beast was. He didn't know what, what the chip was. All right. He didn't know what a needle was. So he could only describe on what he could at that time. All right. He couldn't put RFID chip down because you got people that say, well, why don't say RFID chip? Because John the Revelator could not. He had a vision. The Lord Yahweh Shai came to him and gave him a vision. All right. He could not put RFID chip down because he didn't even know what that was. He could only describe it as what he could in that time. All right. So the closest he could describe the needle was as was a palisade. All right. And if you look it up, it's a sharp wooden stake all right it's, it's pointed at the end so that that needle is what they use to implement the chip inside you so if you take that chip you're going to be destroyed there's no repentance for taking the rfid chip which is the mark of the beast because you got guys that believe that they can take it out and repent no once you take the rfid chip there's no repentance for it and this is pertaining to you israelites you so-called negroes and spanks Native americans you take the rfid chip you're going to be destroyed there's no repentance for taking the rfid chip all right because you got people out there thinking they can repent. You can't repent. You take that chip, you're going to be destroyed. All right? There's no repentance for taking it. All right? It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Right? Because you got people that already got the chip right now. Where it says, save he that had the mark, you got people that already got the chip right now. They chipped up. All right? They're already scanning with their hands and doing all that. They're not even using cash. They're not even using credit cards or debit cards. They... They chipped up. If you go to Wisconsin, people is already chipped up. You go overseas, people are already chipped up. All right? So you got those people that are able to buy or sell and work because they got the chip. All right? It says safety that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So it's Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man shall worship the beast in his image and receive his mark. They go that word mark. All right? In his forehead or in his hand. So notice it said hand there. It doesn't matter if you get it in your right hand, your left hand, in between your biceps. You get the chip implemented anywhere in your body, you're going to be destroyed for doing that. All right? You're going to be destroyed. There's no repentance for it. All right? Revelations 14 and 10. The same shall drink of the wine of wrath of the Lord. You're going to feel the wrath of the Lord. You're going to be burned in thermonuclear fire, man. You're going to be destroyed. It says, which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation. That word indignation means wrath. You're going to feel the wrath of the Lord, man. All right? And he that shall be shall be tormented with the fire and brimstone in the presence in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of, of the lamb. The lamb is Yahawashai, all right, who the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his true name is Yahawashai. He's coming back. He's going to come back in the chariot, all right, and he's going to destroy those. He's going to destroy you, man, all right? So if you take that chip, you're going to be destroyed, all right? Revelation 16 and 2, to prove what I'm saying. Is Revelation 16 and 2. And the first went and poured out his veil upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast. So those of, the, those of you that took the chip already, you're going to be destroyed from the Lord when you come back. The Lord going to fucking kill you. You're going to be destroyed. There's no repentance for taking the RFID chip. You're going to be destroyed for taking the chip. You take that chip, you're going to be destroyed. Because you got people out there that say, oh, I don't believe in the mark of the beast. So regardless if you believe in it or not, you take it, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right? It says, noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Those that took the those that take the mark and those that took it already. You got people that already took the chip, that took the RFID chip. You take that chip, you're going to be destroyed. You take that chip, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right? Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw the thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. For the witness of Yahweh's sight. Because you're going to have a lot of us in these last days are going to, in the time of Jacob's trouble, 
a lot of us is going to be beheaded. We're going to die for the Lord's sake because we're going to reject the chip. We already know that the, that the chip is the mark of the beast, and we already know the consequences behind taking it. So a lot of us that are the hopeful elect is going to die for the Lord, which is a righteous act. All right. So if you get if you reject the chip and you get beheaded, hey, you dying for the Lord. That's a righteous act. You're going to be rewarded in the kingdom. You take that chip, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right. It says, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahushai and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or their hands. Right. Because you got the the hopeful elect, they're not going to take the RFID chip. All right. The people that's going to take it is mainly going to be the worldly minded Israelites that's naive, that's gullible, or the people that's afraid. They're going to take it. But the hopeful elect, those that um, that are in the troop, isn't going to take that. And a lot of us are going to be taken to concentration camps and we're going to be beheaded. We're going to die for the Lord, which is a righteous act. Dying for the Lord is a righteous act. All right. So that's a righteous act. You're going to be rewarded in the kingdom. You know, and that comes with faith, man. All right. It says, neither had received the mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh a thousand years. So, hey, man, that's the reward, man. All right. This is the moment of temptation, and we're not even here yet. We're not in that moment yet, but, hey, it's coming into that time. Biden's already trying to bring this forth. So, hey, man, you know. Lord willing, I'm mean in there with that. Lord willing, this video is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Shema Kakudash, double honors to the others, and apostles of the Great Millstone. So, hey, man, you take the RFID chip, you're going to be destroyed. There's no repentance for taking it. It's not a spiritual mark. Because you got niggas that's just simple. It's not a spiritual mark. All right? It's a physical mark. All right? So, hey, man, Lord willing, this video is edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.